How's it going? We got video number two today, and I'm wearing my Monet Platinum 7 gram quarter ounce Kolovrat, which is essentially a Slavic pagan wheel, similar to a swastika, I believe. And uh, that was our last video. Let's talk about our next video. We got a pretty cool unboxing here. It was my birthday the other day. Um, I ended up getting this for my birthday from Monet. Um, I also ended up getting a very cool watch. Um, so usually on my birthday, I end up getting like a little piece of jewelry and occasionally sometimes a watch. Um, I saw this watch online uh, it was for about 300 something dollars. Uh, they have multiple colors of it. This is a Hamilton watch, automatic. Uh, it's designed off a pilot, uh, pilot's aviator watch. And get them out. All we got is Hamilton. Hamilton book. How to work it. Pretty self-explanatory. If you've ever owned an automatic, uh, auto, uh, self-wind, auto wind, kinetic, whatever you want to call it. I know people get angry. You give it the wrong damn name. Well, let's see what we got. This is a very cool watch. Um, it's made of aluminum. This watch is made of aluminum. It is beyond light. I mean, it is legit. This knife is heavier. And it's working. It has a 48 hour, uh, sorry, I think it believes, I believe it has an 80 hour, um, uh, time on it. It'll run for 80 hours before it runs out. Uh, let's get this little back part off so you can see the window. So, yes, this is a Hamilton. I wish I had the name on it. Hamilton Pilot Aviation Pioneer Auto, uh, Automatic the color is what got me. That's what really made me buy it. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like a very pale gold. It's actually uh, a beige aluminum. Uh, the face dial, the face, the dial on it is also uh, a type of a beige. It looks almost yellow. Very similar to a color uh, dial that they have called um, Old Paper. Let's get this uh, Hamilton watch tag thingy off of it. It's already uh, been wound and everything, so I don't even need to do that. They sent it already uh, wound. But uh, it's very easy to do it. All you do is uh, you would wind it by doing this little number. And as, once, as soon as the bottom uh, seconds hand started ticking, you have 80 hours. What's also pretty pretty cool about this watch, it might be hard to see, probably will be, but using this top dial, you can actually spin the bezel around the watch. You can see it moving right there. That is definitely pretty cool. And then you bring it back to zero, right? Whoop, that wouldn't be zero. Would that be zero? This would be zero. Hold on. You see how that is? And then that would be zero right there. Zero, zero. Um, it has a glowing style. I believe it's green, luminescent hands. So you can tell what time it is. Uh, you have this NATO style. Um, it's beige style khaki. Um, I'm going to replace this. I actually already ordered it. It's a dark, dark gray. Um, almost black, but it's not. It's a very dark gray strap. What I will end up doing is uh, I bought a kit 
for replacing uh, watch straps. So I bought um, I bought a new strap, and I'm gonna replace the strap, and I'm gonna try to replace this buckle as well, uh, because this buckle has the Hamilton print on it, but it also um, matches this. It has that beige metallic uh, leather uh, color. Uh, this is a canvas. All right, let's put the watch on. See how it's how it sits on my hand on my wrist. This is about where I'd wear it. Actually, uh, the fit on it is pretty nice. I'm just not a big fan of all this beige. Um, I like that it has this beige leather here, this uh, beige leather that goes right down here, this beige leather here. But now, if this would have been black, um, NATO strap, and the canvas would have been black, but all the accents would have been beige or brown this would have made this watch so much sexier but uh, I actually do like it let's see it has a very um, army um, military-esque look um, I live near an army town and everything too so there's a lot of camouflage and beige and BDUs around here definitely a very cool watch I like it it's very very light um, I have a lot of um, um, automatic hand-wound watches. Um, a lot of them are, are, are very intricate. Um, the gears and parts, moving parts inside, uh, a lot of them weigh a lot. Um, I have a, a pretty decent, um, it's not a really great watch, but it's an Orient. Uh, my Orient watch probably weighs double this. Like Just holding it in your hand is noticeably... Um, uh, heavier. Um, I have a couple Ferragamo. Uh, the Ferragamo watch is way heavier than this. Uh, just the band, uh, the metal band. Well, it's uh, leather with the clasp done in metal, so you can like pop the buttons and it'll uh, wing style open, so that you can. Oh, oh, you never have to keep putting the hole through the band. It's always just in that spot, but it'll butterfly open. That band, it's leather and uh, metal, is still heavier than this entire watch. Um. I believe it's a 42-ish, 42 or 41. It's I think it's, it's at least a, a four. It's at least 40-inch uh, bezel. I uh, assumed it would be a lot larger. It's not. I definitely like this band on it. Uh, I like it. I just wish this would have been black. If this uh, actual band would have been black and everything else, these details would have been beige. It would have been so much nicer watch. Now, um, I wish there was a way to rit dye it without. Uh, ruining the integrity of this beige leather accents, but um, I don't know how to do that, and I don't want to ruin the band. I'd like to keep the band. Um, like I said, I ordered um, a new band piece uh, from Barton, uh, Barton watch stra uh, straps or bands. Um, it's khaki, not khaki, but I'm uh, sorry, but a, a dark gray canvas. Um, I ordered it with the black PVC style um, buckle, but like I said, I'm going to try to reuse this buckle. I also ordered um, a, a buckle remover and a band remover online. I uh, said it should be here in the next day or two. Um, I believe that band should be here in the next day or two as well. It's come from, I believe, Austin, Texas or Dallas, Texas or something like that. It's definitely come from Texas. So it should be here in a few days. But um, I'll do another video on um, the buckle and then I'll do a whole separate video Actually, I'll probably do the same. That I'll do a video on the on the on the new buckle uh, strap, and then I'll just put put it on here. And it'll be an all-in-one installation unboxing. But uh, yeah, I definitely like this watch. I definitely think it's a little bit too much khaki. I definitely like darker colors. I think that black will go gr uh, great with that little inside uh, black dial. A lot of my stuff is black, as you can see. My shorts are fucking black. My shirt's black. My Little cord is black. My glasses are black. My hat's black. My knives are black. But um, yeah, this this color was very very intriguing. I had to, I had to get it. It was very different. But uh, yeah. So uh, I didn't even tell you they gave me a pretty decent deal on this. Uh, everywhere you look, this watch is uh, four hundred to eleven $1 hundred dollars. 
If you go to Hamilton's official webpage, they're trying to charge eleven hundred for this watch. Um, if you go to Ashford.com, which is actually where I purchased this from, um, they're charging seven hundred. But um, the day before my birthday, this watch was on sale for uh, a little under four hundred. Um, I waited. Uh, too long. Uh, I talked to my wife about it. I wanted to make sure that she was cool that I was buying a, a new watch for my birthday um, to see what she was getting in this and that. And she was like, yeah, go ahead and get the watch. Sorry, I got to keep on looking around. I have a restaurant. I got to make sure that I don't have customers coming into my drive through or walking up. Um, but yeah, my wife said, go ahead and get it. The next morning I went on there. It was already in my cart. I already had a coupon code in it and everything. And the price literally fucking doubled. Um... I called them, uh, I talked to a lady on the phone, and she ended up giving me a better discount than I originally would have gotten it for, so I'm definitely pretty happy about that, um, definitely hooked me up there, um, it was a very, very cool color, like I said, it's a, a beige aluminum, like this isn't gold, it's not rose gold, it's not yellow gold, it's aluminum, it's so light, I'm, I'm literally like you could probably balance it on your pinky it is it's so light i wish i had a, a digital scale i have a, a real scale here for uh weighing meats and stuff like that so it's not going to work it'd probably be a little uh, gross for me to do that but this is a very 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 light watch it's almost like you're not wearing it uh the movement on it is so crisp you can see it sweeping I wish I had a little better lighting in here. I mean, I have pretty good lighting above me, but it's not helping uh, so that you can see this. Um, it definitely ha it has a very cool window on the back as well that uh, is probably going to be hard to see. And you can see the little... Um, uh, it's hard to see it. You can see it right... Just a tiny bit right there. But there's a skeletonized window on the back. I believe it's sapphire crystal, like on the front as well. Lovely watch, lovely, lovely. Um, I'll definitely have a, um, a a video once I get the uh, band in. Um, I also have a two-year warranty with Hamilton. Uh, Hamilton has a very cool um, history. Uh, they started in the 1880s, 1890s, I believe. It was originally a railroad uh, watch. Um, and then uh, it became an aviation watch. It was used um, a lot in the World War One, World War Two. Uh, in fact, in World War Two, they stopped making Hamilton watches for the public, and only supplied uh, our military with it. With Hamilton watches, they're very uh, trustworthy and pretty strong. They kept its time very well. And then um, I believe they started making it again after the war. Pretty cool, interesting uh, story. This is a uh, aviation style watch. The uh, dial sort of looks kind of like, uh, I guess, what a, a gauge in a in a plane would look like. Probably like in the 60s or something, 50s. Probably not 40s, but probably 60s or something. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, Hamilton automatic watch unboxing, uh, automatic. Uh, hand wound, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Somebody's going to get mad that I said one of them and not the other one. So just say all of them. Hand wound, automatic, mechanical. Uh, what else did I leave out? Did I leave anything out? I know somebody will get offended that I, I left something out. But um, awesome watch. Can't wait till I get the new band. Should be here in a, like a day or two. I believe my new, uh, the tool should be here t probably today. Uh, this all came in UPS. Um, the tool should come in uh United Postal Service, so I believe that that might be here today or tomorrow. The band should be in like another day or two, but um, definitely love the watch, and I will have uh, another video once I get the band, and I'll do an unboxing and an installation, and I will show you what that Barton band looks like on this Hamilton uh, khaki Pioneer Pilot. Uh, I don't even know. It's got like seven names. Like in the name, like the name of the model of, the, of this watch has like seven names in it. But um, definitely deuces. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like it. And I'll see you at some point whenever I get something else pretty cool.
which will probably be the Topps Project 2020s. I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there. There's gonna be a couple videos on Topps Project 2020, and um, you will see some stuff that I've been working on that I wish Topps would uh, notice me. Maybe I haven't. I haven't actually done my job to put it out there. A lot, a lot of rappers and stuff know who I am. Um, Topps is gonna find out about me very soon. But um, that video is coming soon, also. But uh, thanks for seeing my video. Uh, like it, share it, um, follow or subscribe. And I will see y'all later. Peace.